All right, guys, we're here at Destination Daytona. Uh, I wanted to come up here and just check out the new Harley Davidson, the Pan America, as well as the Sportster S. They actually have both of them here. Here is this uh, Pan America. Honestly, it's a beautiful bike. I know at first when you see all the videos and you know all the pictures, it doesn't really, you don't think it really uh, looks that good. But once you look at this bike in person, it looks incredible. Looks beautiful, beautiful lines. This motor, man, looks very nice. And here's the Sportster S. Basically the same engine, but it's gonna be a detuned version. I, mean, I have to say they did a really good job. Harley-Davidson's there's a CBO right there I was gonna demo one of the, I was gonna demo either the Pan America or the Sportster S but they told me that they were pretty much gonna be leaving right at 4 in the clock you know 4 o'clock on the dot it's 4 or 6 so uh, I guess I could have gone, gone and grabbed my helmet so I could have shot a quick video but they told me I couldn't do it so but hey Maybe I can come tomorrow, or maybe I can come. Uh, maybe I can come both. The only day is tomorrow because they're not going to be doing it on, on Sunday. So. So we are at destination Daytona. Uh, once the Harley dealership left, like the main street area, uh, pretty much everything kind of moved this way. I mean, it's pretty much where pretty much everybody comes to for you know Daytona Bike Week or Bike Tower Fest in this case so uh, I've never been here I'm gonna just do a quick walk around here but it's definitely a lot more packed than the Speedway was I'll be going to the to Main Street to check it out but from what I hear this is the place to be if you're you know basically uh, coming to Bike Tower Fest see pretty much they have all types of uh, shields for your motorcycle here so from your little ones up to your bigger ones so they let you go ahead and demo it out on your bike and then you go ahead and make the purchase so they do suspension work here so there's a lot more vendors over here I mean there's like probably two or three times the amount of vendors that they had at the, uh, at the speedway and I'm just barely scratching the surface here so maybe even more than that and look at all these beautiful wheel selections that they have here I mean, you name it, they have it over here, from wheels to exhaust to speakers. I mean, incredible selection. Let's see the bikes now. Let's see what 
shows they have going on here. delivery and I and I wrote a automatic version so just like this one this is gonna be an automatic one this is gonna be a tour one so they usually go for around thirty thousand dollars but you could tell I did a good job over here with the LED lighting so very well done the only thing that they need is to go ahead and add some fog lights over here and they will be all set to go but Look at the front, the way it looks. It's gonna be all LED from your turn signals to your headlight. I like the way he put this GoPro over here. I'm gonna have to look into something like that for my bike. That's actually a great idea. I didn't even think of that. So. striping and paint job they did an amazing job I mean look at that That's really a good job. I like that way better than the chrome. So here's another one. Man, that looks beautiful. That looks incredible. So these guys over here, they're also doing lighting and wiring. So that's gonna be, and speakers. So they do a little bit of everything. Over here, they work with more custom work, whether you want fender, whether you want a fairing change, whether you want a different type of windshield, they do that over here for you. Beautiful burnt orange. Man, beautiful. It's gonna be a 117 over here.
work. That's going to be a hard tail. That's going to be not comfortable at all, but it's a beautiful bike. Chain driven. Like he's not wet because he probably would have fallen from that even with somebody helping him. Sauce over here? Man, that's beautiful. Oh my god. It goes really well with the bronze. Yeah. Here's the Benson Heinz pipes over here, so. They bring all these bikes here from California to go ahead and for people to go ahead and take a look at them. I have to say the exhaust looks very good, but you almost need to have that dual exhaust. I don't know, it's just me. It might be just me, but I love the way that dual exhaust looks on these type of bikes, especially when you have those saddles. I'm not sure if this bike came from factory with just one exhaust, but I guess I'm just used to seeing, you know, the Harley with the dual exhaust but I mean or it might just be that they usually connect at the bottom but I'm not sure 